Well, hello, farm and friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farm and Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. Well, we are back on North Brabant and uh, back at our farming after a day off for the holidays. And uh, here we go. We are, let's see, where are we at? Bring you up to date on what's going on. We went ahead and got, uh, let's see, what did we do? Oh, I'm brain dead. Wow. Okay, so we left off doing the wood chippings. Um, so if you look up in the top right-hand corner, we have $1.9 million. Uh, we were down around 1.7. I ended up doing like three or four trailer loads of wood chips uh, over, by the, uh, over behind the orchard. And, uh, and then I sold off two loads of wood chips out of, uh, that we had in storage. So that's about what we did. Uh, I didn't, I didn't deforce the whole area. Uh, I just did a little bit, basically made a couple of hundred thousand dollars, uh, which we are going to spend today, um, purchasing a forage harvester. We are going to go ahead and get the new Holland forage harvester because our corn is ready. As you see, our fields are ready to be harvested so today we're going to be doing a little work with that and uh yeah so we'll get that going so that's going to be the workload that we do today uh, i figure we'll get our forge harvester uh i would like to rent the i'm going to go ahead and purchase the forge harvester uh let's see let's see what we got here uh the forge harvester itself I'm going to purchase. So let's just go ahead and do that. Because we can use it to do some grass also uh, down the road. And we'll go ahead and get the cutter head for it. And I'm going to go with the... Uh, I could go with the Kemper to be different, but I think I'm just going to go with the new Holland head. They're the same price, and it's it looks good, you know, so... Uh, we'll go with the new Holland head on it. And then what I think I'll do is for, uh, so we don't have to chase it with the, um, with our tractors and trucks, we'll just go ahead and I will get the, um, I think we're going to rent. I don't know. Let's look at how much this thing is. Uh, if we go under, I believe it's under tippers. Uh, the mod hosters, Chromega, that's 37000 We'll just go ahead and buy that. And there's no need to rent it. So we'll own that now. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, and then we'll use, uh, probably use our big tractor trailer to, uh, to unload this, as well as we'll use a tractor and, uh, and this guy here, probably. Uh, though we probably won't need it all. So, but the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to go start some fruit harvesting um, because our orchards are full and uh, I haven't, they are ripe. So let's go ahead and get in here and, uh, and head out. All right, so a quick update also, um, Track R never arrived. Um, it's funny, Recon bought one and we both had the exact same issue. Um, Mine was scheduled for delivery on Friday. It did not arrive. Oh, and I'll tell you something here, too. Did not arrive on Friday. And um, so, yeah, it's sitting at my local post office and won't be delivered until Monday. And this is, of course, being... This is Monday's video. It's being recorded on Sunday. So, uh, other thing. I... You'll notice my combine head is sitting right here. And my trailer is right there. Um, I brought the combine back, put the head on the trailer, brought it over here, sat it down on the ground, and within two minutes, it had fallen off the trailer and was laying on the ground. So I just kind of moved it to where it's at now. So yet Giant still hasn't fixed that. Um, and it actually sat there and bounced around on the ground for quite a while. Um... And I don't know why, but, um, yeah, that's still an issue. So if you wonder 
Someone had asked me the other day, why do why don't I just leave my header on the trailer? Uh, it won't stay on the trailer. Every time I turn around, it bounces off the trailer, slides off the side of the trailer. Um, and, you know, so then I've got to come fix it anyway. So I'm better off just taking it off in the, fir in the first place and putting it on the ground because sometimes it'll end up in some odd places where I actually just... My only res my only resolve is to uh, reset it to the farm and um, and hook it up to the combine at the farm. So uh, I just get in the practice of taking it off. I've had that problem uh, on my big country. Uh, it would actually go in and roll across the map and slide into um, um, certain things. Where am I going? I am. My head is just not in this today. So it, it's weird because I don't have that problem with that class uh, trailer and header. I only have it with the stock uh, in-game stuff. This is where I'm headed. I just don't know what's going on in my head today. Oh, we'll back up here. I gotta jump out and grab the door. And we'll back up over here. Can I get it? There we go. So get our little Crone Insland trailer. And we'll head over to the orchard. And we'll just automate this guy. I'll just let him do all the pickups. I did record off camera a new path for the oranges so the oranges can be harvested now. Um, and we can actually start with that one. So we'll just come over here, pull in, and uh, I'll tell this guy to go harvest some oranges. Um, so, and again, we've done this before, but I'll just show you one more time how to do it. If you've got your course recorded, with your weight points in there, you select the orange collection. I'm going to add the cell point onto the back of it. And I have to remember to come into my settings. And I need to give myself a little bit of a delay. It's right here. Where is that at? Should be right here. Oh, I'm in the wrong mode. Let me get into the right mode. I have to be in the uh, grain transport mode for this to work. And come into settings and change my wait time up to 12 seconds there we go now I got it right I always forget to change the uh, change that alright so this should go and start and of course it didn't because I wasn't close to a waypoint when will I learn now drive course there we go. Alright, so off we'll run into here. I'll take this out. And you'll see all my little weight points floating in the trees that I have put in here. And we'll just pull in here. Start unloading the oranges. Yeah. And so we'll start getting some citrus in. And that thing will do its thing. And we'll move on. So we've got to go get our harvester, which is here. And collect everything up. I do like the sound on this new hollow when it starts up. That little boom, 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 boom. The little burping of it. Pretty good. Somebody said something about... The axles on this thing don't line up on the rear tires. I guess they don't if you look. If you look at the rear axles on this thing. Hmm. I don't think they are a little offset, but I don't know if that's not by design. I mean Yeah, they probably ought to be centered but I'm not going to sweat it. I 
front wheels on that crone are doing a little jig. Alright. So we'll head this guy down to our uh, cornfields. And we'll get ready to do some harvesting. And again, we're going to forage all this corn and just take it to the... Uh, we're going to be selling it all off. I'm not selling it, but doing BGA work with it. Again, uh, not focused today. See, every time that John Deere hits a tree, it's going to flash up there that it's at its weight point. So off we go. Today we are going to make some chaff and uh, start getting our BGA refilled uh, so that we can make slurry for the fields and all that good stuff. And we got to get back to plowing again and all that. Here we go planting. We get a, a small respite doing a little harvesting and we're back to planting again. So it's just a never ending cycle, isn't it? You plant the field, you plow the field, you plant the field, you harvest it, you plow it, you do it all over and over and over again. Alright, our cornfield back here, looking good, looking real good. So one thing I wanted to take a look at, though, on this cornfield is, and I already see some places where I've got some bald spots, and I want to just kind of note areas like this. It does seem like the places where I made my turns and everything when planting, it does seem like they're sparse. Um, so it's not just the soil mod. I think it has to do with drive control and other big sparse area right there and so yeah I'll have to see it from up high but um, it does look like I've got a little bit of, of spots where I lost a lot of I don't know it doesn't seem that consistent though maybe it's just my imagination Hmm. Just seem like there's a lot of holes though. All right, so we'll park this guy here for the moment and we'll go get our uh truck. And we're going to use the uh the man for this um today. Just cuz we can. Um Rather have the man driving on the highway than the uh, tractor and a trailer. Though I don't love driving the truck in the field, but it is an agricultural version, so we can get away with it. We'll assume it's a nice dry week. Hasn't been any rain or anything else like that. So we can justify getting in the field with it. We'll have to record ourselves a little route to the BGA. Did we do all that? I don't think we did. We recorded a bunch of slurry routes. I never recorded any routes for dumping the silage. So, yeah. We'll do that in a minute. Let's just go ahead and pull this guy off to the side here. 
out to the traffic. All right. Yeah, we'll get this guy fired up and going. All right, first go round with the new Holland. Yeah, we did a little video on it, but we haven't actually used it to do any kind of harvesting. Get our pipe up. All right, so let's see. Unpack this guy back here. I gotta remember the controls on all of this, so excuse me while I have to go back and read uh, how to raise the trailer. The bunker is in. So open the bunker up. And we'll go ahead and get our pipe up. Alright, that'll work for me. And we look like we're about ready to go. So let's get this thing fired up. Get rid of that help menu. just use auto combine for this so I'll go ahead and auto combine set it up we'll make a right side active drive around in circles and tell it to go and we should be good now see I don't understand why I have these big lanes this is where I went it see how in the front I've got these big tram lines and that's from going around the field a second time and putting my headland in in the places where there wasn't seed on the ground it's not there but in places where there was already seed um, there are tram lines so apparently if you when you're seeding uh, if you seed into what would be your headland and then you come back around with your headland it does not overseed. Um, so the the first level of seed going down is what you have. You cannot overseed. So drive control will then kill that seed when you go over it while you're seeding. Messed up, isn't it? But that's clearly what's happened is you can see these tram lines uh, that are coming in. It goes away when I get into the corner and then it's gonna, when we make the turn, Probably coming across here everywhere there was a break uh, there'll probably be a little bit of a tram line see there it is again right there hmm. there it is again I just gotta have to pay closer attention to that I guess uh, otherwise you're gonna have them and uh, it's not just in the, gonna be in the soul mod it's gonna be in everything so yeah we learn all right let's go get our uh, oh this guy's sitting or stuck He's good. He's full. Why didn't he go dump? Hmm. May have to run him through there a second time. I guess I've never had that problem because the uh, the other ones uh, I don't have that other problem because the other ones don't have enough to 
to go full capacity on it. So, have to check that out later. Things dumping now. Get this guy filled up. Honestly, I'm just going to drive this instead of uh, instead of automating it. I mean, I could automate it and go plow. Um, I could go just set the plows up. We might do a little laid back today. We may just do the chaff and uh, and mess with it. I could drive the chaff or drive the new haul in today I don't know. so I'm gonna do the bunkers here I'm not going to uh, to do the ma the massive pit unless we have to I just I've had enough of the bunker I mean the pit it was uh too much too much of a hassle to do it And what we'll do is we'll just, uh, what do you mean chaff is not accepted here? Is this bunker not cleared out? Oh, there's still some left in it. Well, that's not good. Hopefully this other one's empty. Yeah, this one's empty. Good. curious about that one so we'll fill up that bunker first I'll have to get the front loader and go through there and scoop out that last little remnant that is in uh, the first bunker so yeah we're still stuck on using the controller and no uh, no track IR hopefully that will come in today um, while you guys are watching this video and I can mess around with it and uh, get started with it Looks like the John Deere is finished. I'm just going to have it drive that course again because the oranges were, um, the oranges obviously are more than this trailer can handle yield wise because I do have a few more trees than I do uh, apples and pears. So I'll just have it drive the course again. Actually, you know what? Is I'll go find where it. Find where it stopped emptying at, and uh, and just pick up the course there. It looks like it's right around this. Wow, happened pretty early. Apparently, the uh, orange trees yield a lot better than. Uh, Continue. 
Alright, so it'll go through there. And it will probably... What did it do? It didn't wait. At the waiting point. There it goes. Now it's working. Alright, so... And this guy's full. This will be a good test. Um, I know the crone had an issue with... Uh, if you let it go to 100% capacity and it stopped, it wouldn't restart um, after you dumped the chaff out of it. Now, was that with the big X or was that with this uh, bunker on the back? It'll be interesting to see if the new Holland resumes moving um, as soon as all this chaff is dumped out. Oh, there it goes. So the issue was either with uh, the issue was either with the um, scripting in the Chrome Big X or it was in the old version of Auto Combine. One of the two. Yeah, it works fine now. So we don't have to worry about catching that guy before he gets to 100%. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there was a bug when I did the Crone Big X uh, 1100 Beast Pack, uh, which is where that bunker came from, there was a bug when using Auto Combine or Hired Help that if you let it get to 100%, uh, it wouldn't restart unless you uh, disabled the, unhired the worker, got out of the cab, got back in, restarted the machine, and rehired the worker. Uh, then it would start back up and maneuver. It wasn't the same bug uh, as with Auto Combine in the 1.3 patch where you actually had to reset the machine back to the farm uh, to get it to work. It wasn't nearly that bad, but there was a bug with it. And um, so apparently uh, that bug was a... Uh, whoa, hello. Why'd you get all swirly on me? Come on. Well, this is just ridiculous. All right, while that guy is filling up, let's grab the front loader here real quick. And we'll see if we can go ahead and get that last little bit of silage out of the uh, front bunker. right there I'll just verify that it's empty now it is yay the light pole and I don't think I even got that in there oh well waste of silage and then again we didn't even know it was there so no big deal all right we'll take our front loader and park it and I'll park it properly this time As apparently I just sat it in here the last time and didn't actually do it right. So the proper thing to do is park it and take the pressure off of your hydraulics when you park it. There we go. 
least that's the way I was always raised. I was taught that at the end of the day, when you park your tractor, you always park it so there's no undue stress on the hydraulics. Wow, there's a lot of oranges in that field. I may have to use a different trailer or at least use two trailers uh, to do that in the future. And our... Uh, let's see, our, our New Holland is completed its task and is 100% full. We'll roll over here. And since it's stopped, we'll just come in the back way. Turn on our beacons on our truck and actually be proper. So we've done a few days on this map. We'll probably take a break after today and uh, switch it up. And I'm thinking we had, um, I don't know, maybe back to Colboro Park. Uh, I kind of want to go there and work on it a little bit more uh, before we get over to Holzhausen and more of the Soul Mod. And I have a confession to make. I am, uh, I'm not really in love with Holzhausen. Um, and I am probably going to seek out a different map to do the soul mod on. And, uh, in all honesty, I was going to do two rivers. I had, uh, actually downloaded it, put it on the computer, and started to mess around with it. And my intentions was to do two rivers however uh, Raven informed us uh, the his intentions to do two rivers and just because I share a lot of viewers with Raven and uh, I just uh, I don't want to be doing the same thing that everybody else is doing so probably not going to do that I'm probably going to look for something different and I know his playing style and my style are different and uh we could probably both do the map and uh, it wouldn't be anything the same, but it's still, it's, you know, if he's doing that, let him do it and then I'll probably go do some other map. Uh, I don't know that he's going to do the soul mod on it or not, but uh, I think uh, I'll just continue to look and, uh, and find another map uh, that I like that I want to do the soul mod on. Uh, I was looking at a modded version of Bjornholm uh, to go back and do it because it had Soul Mod as well as Nursery and, and a bunch of other stuff on it. Um, had multi fruit on it, all that good stuff. Um, but I just don't know that that's the route I'm going to go either. So, still looking. Uh, we'll do Holes Housing a, a little bit more, but more than likely I will find another map that has the soul mod on it and uh, go play it instead of Holzhausen so um, and again my reasoning for going to it was a hundred percent the soul mod anyway um, so the thing about it is is I'm playing for the soul mod but uh, there's nothing about it that is actually other than the soul mod that makes that map interesting to me and I have a problem with that you know so if I'm not gonna enjoy the map other than the soul mod um, you know I'll get burned out on it if the only reason I'm playing it is the soul mod um, so I have a fear that 
if I if I don't find a map that I really like, I'll lose interest in the soul mod real quick. So that's my kind of where I'm at with it. So and that's I think one of the reasons why I'm just not excited to jump back over there and continue on with the soul mod because um, uh, I don't I'm not really in love with that particular map. So and somebody asked me, you know. Do I think the, the soul mod would get tiring or get old real quick? I don't think the soul mod... And My f initial answer was yes. Because I was already about tired of it. But I, I think it's not so much the soul mod as it is the map just isn't as interesting to me. And, and I think maybe that's because maybe I've seen it played by so many people. Rubberside Downs played it. Landy's played it. Um several other people that I just periodically watch have played it so I'm thinking maybe I did myself a disservice by jumping on that map but again it was um, it was a map that had the soul mod installed and I could take a look at it so um, I don't know what the next step is uh, other than just look for a new map and uh, if I find something that interests me then I'll jump on it uh, I looked at states. Um, I know uh, Castaway Dave is playing it, and um, but it just uh, it's too just flat and generic for me. Uh, I want something with a little bit of character to it. Um, a little scenery wouldn't be bad. So I'm not sure if that's the map either. So. I'll just keep looking. We sort of went with this after my big country. It took a while to find a map that was interesting. Um, and that's sort of why we're on Colboro. But. So let's get this guy dumped out. Alright, that's good enough. We'll head on back over to the BGA and get this guy dumped. What else is happening? That's about it. Um, I uh, updated a couple of mods today. I did get the new version of Course Play uh, that's on the developer site. Uh, put that in today. Uh, somebody asked me the other day too, uh, what version of Course Play am I running? Uh, 4.1 is the public release, I believe, which is the easy install, and you don't have to deal with any kind of bugs uh, or any kind of issues. Uh, and that one is the one that you're going to find on mod hosters and all that other stuff. Uh, the version that I'm running with the little eyeball and the 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 you know displaying your course and all that other stuff, that is the developer's edition that you get from GitHub. And um, it's not as easy to install. Um, it does take a little bit of... You've got to get the master files and you've got to make your own compression file. And um, it's not a simple install like download and put in your mods folder. Uh, I will tell you that. And um, you are going to deal, run the risk if you use it of it breaking on you and um, and you have to wait a couple of days for them to patch it and put that out what they put out publicly is stable and works and um, what I run is the developers edition and 
And I messed around with not running it for a while. I was going to run just the regular, the old generic public release um, and not take advantage of the full blown version, but um, because that's what everybody is readily available. But uh, I needed to update and see what they were doing, so I went ahead and got the developer's version. So that's why, if you're running the version that you got off of Mod Hosters, that's the reason mine looks different than yours is I'm using a developer's edition so and um, before anybody asks how do you install the developer's version of course play uh, you'll have to google search that one there's some videos out there on it um, uh, that's one of those things I'm not going to tech support. Um, I don't, I usually try to help everybody out with that, but I'm warning everybody right up the bat. Um, the developer's version is not a, a simple install and it's not something I'm going to hold people's hands through, uh, because it's not easily communicated what to do in text and, um, you know in comment text on on a video so um, it's uh, you know and, and a lot of times I don't know people's level of understanding of their computers so it's one of those things where I try my best to help people out and troubleshoot but I have no idea what level of of skill you have to even begin with and and what kind of computer knowledge people have to begin with and sometimes it can be really it can be sort of frustrating to try to deal with all of that when you're dealing with somebody who really doesn't even comprehend what you're trying to tell them and uh, working with somebody in text on that or in you know in emails or uh, messages is is hard to uh, to do. I you know, the Apple mod is one of those situations where I deal with it on a regular basis. People don't listen, don't read, and I, I consistently get text and emails and things of that nature about the Apple mod and why the Apple mod's not working for them, but. And it's usually something silly, like you didn't put the UPK in, which it, I tell everybody in the videos and I tell everybody in text, you need to put the UPK in. Um, you know, it's right there in the, in, the, in the show description, which apparently people don't read the, uh, the show descriptions when you say, oh, by the way, I'll include all the information you need in the show notes. And... Apparently nobody reads the show notes um, because it says right there, um, you know, you've got to have the UPK for this to work. And then I'll get a text that says, I downloaded this file and it doesn't work. Well, you know, and I'll get people who will download files that, again, clearly, you, you've got to have some sort of knowledge of the structure of how the mods work as far as you can't put compressed folders inside the mods folders that have other compressed folders within it at the same time you can't put you know a folder within a folder within a folder in there and expect for it to work so it's um, when it comes down to course play and the uh, developers edition that's that's not what I'm gonna tackle um, but I will say that I think Raven has a video on it, so if you do want to try it, go check out his video on how to install the developer's edition, um, but that's one of those I'm going to stay clear of, uh, because I do not want to, that will just open up a world of headaches for me, so word of warning, if you send me a note, how do I install the developer's edition of course play? I'm not gonna not being rude, but I'm just gonna tell you right now. Um, yeah.
I'm not, not going to walk anybody through that one. No offense, folks. You know, and, and like I said, I try to help out as many people as I can uh, with your questions. And when you send me private messages uh, and ask me about certain things, I try to help people out as much as possible. Uh, even people that I know they don't understand half of the things I say. And especially when there's language barrier issues, uh, I do get a lot of foreign emails that um, it's broken English and it's hard to understand a lot of times what you're saying and probably is hard to understand and comprehend what I'm saying uh, because of the the language barrier um, and to try to get into that with course play would just I'd end up beating my head against the wall and you know I do this stuff because I enjoy it and it's fun uh, but that part of it can get a little overwhelming so uh, I hope you guys understand on that one and um, you know know your limitations uh, if you feel like that's something you can tackle it's really if you're really computer savvy and you understand computers and you know what you're doing it's it's simple but um, if you don't and you if you don't understand it then it's probably something you don't want to do Yeah. So sorry about that. <laughs> but just to be fair, for those who wonder why my course play looks different than your course play, um, that's the reason. I'm just using a different version. get this guy dumped off again I hate auto combine a simple turn takes a lot longer than it should Oh, so uh, I think today I'm also going to pull the trigger on a set of joysticks um, to go ahead and start doing a little um, a little dual joystick forestry. Um, may try it because after doing the wood chipping and everything, uh, it wouldn't hurt to do a little more forestry in this game. I know a lot of people hate it, uh, and I, I'm i not in love with it. I, I see where it can be enjoyable, um, and if the joysticks do that, then uh, maybe that's a decent route to go. Um, and I can justify you getting the joysticks because I can use, I could use them for flight sim. Um, so I think I'll probably pull the trigger on that. I've been looking at prices on them see what's available out there they're not really expensive and um so probably today i'm gonna pull the trigger on that uh which means maybe next week i'll have a couple of joysticks and can do a little forestry with them uh, but it won't be until next week for sure it won't take me that long to get them here pull this guy and park it for now because this will get finished up <laughs> go check on my little John Deere here Let's see how much more oranges need to be done because I know he got full um, so yeah, definitely when I'm doing orange is going to need a bigger trailer.
And this little Inslin trailer will, um, it'll do this whole apples and pears with no problem. It looks like it only missed these last two trees. So we'll just do those real quick. Get them out of here. So that's the end of the oranges. Wow, two full trailers load. How about that? All right, guys. So I'll set this guy up to do the apples and the pears, and uh, get them done as well and continue on our chaffing and then we will uh, probably call this an episode because it just looks like we're hitting the hour mark I think we started around I think we started around 545 uh, on this all right so let's get rid of the orange collection let's go into apple collection and sell fruit and let's get over here under this track and start it drive course and there we go nice so we'll get that going and let that do its thing and we'll tab back over here we should be done now yeah so we can just move over to our next field we'll unload this real quick and then we'll move the new holland over to the next field and start it back up So we'll switch up. I'm going to make this active side left this time and we'll just go in straight into the field. To do that I need to uh, change the side on this thing. Uh, that's the wrong note. Rotate. Come on. There it is. Alright. So that's rotated around. That's good to go. So let's get this uh, switched over into the proper Yeah, you can see there's tram lines in front of me there. Let's get on the inside here and drive. That's really frustrating I did that. I thought surely by doing my rows first and then coming back and doing my uh, by doing my rows first and then coming back and doing my headland at the end I was sure it would overseed it and um, I wouldn't get any kill from the uh, from drive control. And apparently I was so wrong with that. Disappointing. So again, I had to do a better job of figuring out what, you know, what distance I need to be. I need to be at least, you know, I need to stop 
and lift my uh, my cedar at least two thirds of a width from the edge. So uh, when I do come back to do my headland, I'm I'm not driving over an area that has been previously seeded. Otherwise, I'm going to have these tram lines. I didn't think it would do that. I figured if you went over it again with a cedar, uh, you wouldn't have that issue. Which it won't be that hard to do. I just have to set GPS to stop a certain distance from the edge of the field. And uh, that's where you'll lift up your, your cedar and go around. So, all right. Well, I think we're approaching the one hour mark. So we'll wrap up this video for today. And... Um, he said, with any kind of luck, tomorrow we'll have a little track IR going. And uh, we'll see how that is in, uh, in there. So, yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video today. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another one. If you liked the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like it. And, of course, uh, for everybody who's been sharing the videos... Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, it helps me reach more people. And uh, every time I get a little text message or email that says uh, my video got shared, uh, uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, you guys help help me out a lot when you do that. So appreciate it. And uh, if you're new to watching the videos, please subscribe. I do do a new video each and every day. And uh, we'll be back with another one tomorrow. Most likely we'll be on Colborough Park. Uh, so until then, y'all stay safe, have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.